Hi everyone, I'm Danielle Byington, and in this video, we're still talking about the Miller's Tale, but we're going to talk specifically about the flood plot. This is important to the story because this is where we're going to get um, all our humor in the end, and uh, this is, you know, this is the sneaky, conniving plot that Nicholas devises. So um, earlier in the story, we had the moment where. John, the husband, the carpenter, uh, husband Allison, is away. And Nicholas has approached Allison and he wants to sleep with her. And she agrees, but she's like, let's, uh, we, we can't do it now, even though he's away. He's uh, gone for timber at Osney. Um, <clears throat> so he says, okay, I'll come up with a plan in which we can do this. And it even, the story is even showing you like how, silly and ridiculous this is because right before Nicholas is going to, you know, fake this, like, whole, all this knowledge about knowing that a, a second flood is coming, he, um, at the story, excuse me, the story tells you that, um, once again, John was away at Osney, so he's gone on a Saturday, and so he's out of town. And again, it's like, why don't they just do it then? They're going through all this like painstaking uh, trouble to try to make this arrangement by devising this plot. And then you'll see like on the next slide, the things they have to do about tying the tubs, the vats up into the uh, roof of the rafters of the barn. Okay, so um, what Nicholas does is he... He fakes an illness, but not just like, oh, my tummy aches. I mean, he's acting like more than under the weather. He He's acting very disturbed. So much so that now that John is back from Osney and he's home, he's like, hmm, where's Nicholas? Where's that my tenant who uh, rents a room in my house? I haven't seen him. Has anyone seen him? And so, you know, Allison has been told to say, oh, you know, I haven't seen him. And um, it, it tells you in the story that he took enough uh, food and drink up to his room for a couple of days so he can kind of hide out. And when John does see Nicholas in his room, it says he's just, just gaping in awe, in terror, actually, at the ceiling. And th this is part of his performance in convincing John. And if you remember that uh, John, excuse me, not John, but Nicholas is um, a scholar, right? He, it tells you many times he's a student and that he studies um, astronomy. And so at that time, we're not, we don't have a super clear division between uh, astrophysics NASA stuff, you know, and astrology. And so him studying astronomy is kind of similar. For, it's like, like not really any different from studying astrology in this time because it's meant to like see the future, what there is to come. Uh, at, at people, a nobility, specifically a royalty, a king and queen, they, they would have a court astrologer to give them advice so it's just like all those reels that come up in your Instagram feed, uh, except it's one dedicated advisor of astrology. OK, so John's like, what's wrong? What's wrong, Nicholas? And Nicholas tells him that in studying astronomy, he's just revealed this thing. that God had a message for him. A second flood is coming um, <clears throat> and that it's going to be. Worse than the first flood, worse than that of Noah. He says, this world, in less than an hour, shall all be drowned. So when this rain starts in a couple of days, in less than an hour, everyone's going to drown. Except God told Nicholas that he's supposed to help save John and his wife. And he even goes on to say, well, but I wasn't supposed to tell you, We, I'm supposed to tell you but we aren't supposed to tell you know the other two uh workers in the house robin and jill and the instructions of what they have to do see why this is so ridiculous all the trouble nicholas and allison are going through just so they can spend the night together so they can sleep together they have to tie three tubs into the rafters of the barn so these tubs are going to be up there. And it also tells you they have to put a, uh, enough food 
in there for about a day because Nicholas says it in this uh, prophecy I've seen it, the water is going to recede by about nine in the morning the next day. So we only need enough food in the tubs for about a day. And they're going to do this because when the flood comes and the water rises, we'll just cut the ropes that are holding these tubs up and we'll just float away to safety. And you see how ridiculous this sounds. So um, John, though, because he, it, it, you know, the whole idea here is that John is just not that smart. Poor John. He gets taken advantage of in every way. Um, he really is like the only innocent person in the story. So uh, John is totally convinced. He's He's been thoroughly deceived by Nicholas and he's going to do it. And of course, all of this is, all of this plot is so, as soon as John falls asleep, up in the tubs once they're all three each in their own tub tied into the rafters of the barn when they hear john snoring it says nicholas crept down and then allison uh, quickly creeps down and then they go sleep in the place where the carpenter sleeps okay so that's all for the flood plot video be sure to watch the rest so you see the uh, consequences of this with the hot poker scene Thank you for watching.